Well, today is a big day. I got Jackson with me. He's gonna help me out in picking up the bus. I'm a little reluctant to go and do business with these people. If you saw yesterday's video, you know why I'm a little reluctant, I guess. Uh, so, recap. They changed the price, now they want to sell me the bus that didn't start when I showed up to test drive buses. Yeah. So, it also has completely dead batteries. They offered to install it for 600 and I kindly, kindly declined. <laughs> and, um, I think that's the only issue. Uh, and the tires are a little bit, you know, worse than the other one. And so I just don't feel like, you know, it was advertised for 35 and then the shenanigans went on. They raised the price on one of them to 65 even though we agreed, 35 And then they said, oh, yeah, the other one that doesn't work, yeah, we're going to also raise that one to 45 But we'll give you a deal at 35 Yeah, I mean, if it was my choice, I wouldn't do it, but I have to put my ego aside because it is a very rust-free bus. And honestly, 35 even with dead batteries, not a bad, not a horrible deal, not a bad deal, not the best deal, but definitely not the worst deal. Some people are trying to get like 10, 20 grand for these things unmodified. Absolutely insane. So, let's go get it. at the unnamed bus place. Unnamed because, giant question mark if I, if I am uh, satisfied. Uh, but, I'm gonna be optimistic and, uh, you know, just excited to pick up a bus and get this party started, you know what I mean? Okay, so much has happened in the past half hour since I've gotten here, I need to update you. Okay, first of all, I was mistaken the first time around. It did not have the DT-466. I don't know how I missed that. I think I, I was just, it, the engine sounded so good, I was like, oh, this is perfect, don't even really need to look at it. I did pop the hood, but I don't know how I missed that. <laughs> it's the same engine in the last one. So, this also is a, uh, a 7.3 uh, DT, or sorry, it's a T444E, great for uh, veggie oil conversion. So we're gonna take this for a spin. This is a $3,500 bus. It doesn't have great tires. So tires are like 400 bucks each, 300 bucks each. Uh, so it might be in my best interest to maybe get the other one, which they bumped up in price. Not what I normally do, but it's rust free, so that's why I'm considering it. So let's go for a spin. All right, so first problem, haven't even moved. Here's the air door, you press that. It's supposed to close the doors. Okay, I was mistaken, the doors do work. That's manual and automatic. My mistake, the thing is right here. And they work. All right, so we got some kind of uh, steering vibration. You guys hear that? It's like squeaking and all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna pass on this one. So I went inside the bus place. I, 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 I spoke from my heart and I said, look, I really think you should be honoring the price that I first, you know, came up here for uh, the first time and agreed to. And uh, I could tell that she, you know, she understood me. But I also understand the situation, it's not up to her, right? It's always the boss. So the $3,500 bus has some issues. It has some steering issue when you turn a little bit left. It's probably a steering pump that's kind of it's gonna be something to fix, right? Engine doesn't sound as good, I don't know why. Um, also, the tires are not uh, as good of a condition. Overall, the bus is not as great. There's bird shit on the dash. There's, you know, a little mold, moss kind of stuff going on. Um, that's all, we're gonna rip it apart anyways. But you can tell when people neglect something. The other bus is not neglected, so instead of the, the boosted up price of five, 
uh, was able to get five, including a 10% sales tax. So is it the best deal? I'll be the first person to tell you no. Uh, was it an emotional roller coaster? I will say yes, slightly. But um, given all the, you know, if you look, look at it from a big, you know, perspective from the bigger picture, it's not a terrible deal. It's still a quality bus. There's zero rust on the thing. Um, so I'm gonna pull the trigger. I'm gonna get the rest of it. Uh, let me get a, a cashier's check inside the credit union. You guys should all join credit unions, by the way. And uh, I'm gonna buy the bus. All right, we're in the new bus. And I already wish I had AC. It's about 80 degrees today. Uh, so we'll definitely have to try and put a little something here. Um, but you know these things, we can just pop them up somehow. I don't know. We'll get that sorted out later. Anyway, so like I said before, holding judgment on this place because of the little, you know, issue with the price. Again, things happen in life. <laughs> uh, all things considered, I have compared to the $3,500 bus, which this one also was $3,500. All things considered, I got four. Pretty new tires, so that's not a bad thing. That those four tires could be sixteen hundred bucks, two thousand bucks. So all things considered, uh, you know, not a terrible deal. Just not the deal I thought I was getting the first time. Uh, definitely not complaining. Very nice person, and uh, yeah, I mean, if we got this thing for the thirty-five they originally uh, promised me, I'll tell you guys, hey. Check out these guys, they got awesome buses, great people, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But since the price jumped up and had that little issue, I'm not gonna do that for them. But um, I will tell you that uh, when looking for a bus, try to get something rust-free, like I mentioned in the other one. And uh, yeah, just you know, look around. They had two of these identical buses here. One was in better condition, one obviously costed more. But when you do the math, if one is in better condition and it's slightly more, you're probably gonna still come out ahead because at some point you're gonna have to put in some money into it. So, uh, that being said, um, I obviously purchased this bus, I'm okay with the price, and uh, 5,000 including sales tax, which means I only pay like a thousand more than you know they it was listed at before. So, that's okay, so it's not the worst you know thing on earth. But I'm uh, just going to keep it real here and let you guys know what's happening. <laughs> and um, yeah, so there goes my sweet sales lady. And uh, we're going to hit the road very soon, in a few minutes. And I'm probably not going to be vlogging it because I don't have my camera in the front set up. And this is the first time driving this thing, so I don't want to be too distracted. It's a two hour drive. So uh, yeah, we'll do like a run through once we get back uh, in one piece. And I have temporary licensing. Uh, title is going to be sent to me in the mail. Um, got a three day drive permit to get back. And then we can rip this thing out and do it all over again. You know what I mean? And it's getting warm in here, so I'm going to crack the windows. All right, made it back. <laughs> what do you guys think? It's a little bit bigger than Dan the Adventure Bus. I just realized it's actually nine windows. From the roof, you just see the ribs there. Every rib is two windows, so we got two. That thing is actually uh, two, so we got two, four, six, eight, nine, nine windows. Uh, so, this is what it looks like. This is the front. Um, I, would, I think I may have mentioned before, I was trying to get the DT-466, the website was incorrect, or I was mistaken. Um, this is actually an International, a 2002, with a T-444E, which is also known as the Ford 7.3 liter power stroke. Uh, this is, this is the other side. I really don't like that. I really don't like that, but it's okay because the number one, I don't know, I would say in my opinion, right? The number one most important thing when you get a used bus is, well, besides the condition of uh, the engine and, and things like that, but a very important thing that you cannot fix or cannot upgrade is the rust factor. So 
this is why I ended up going with this bus here. There is no AC, we had a discrepancy with the price, uh, all that stuff, and really it was the lack of rust. Let me just show you how little rust is on this thing. I sent a picture to Michael, you'll meet Michael in a few days. I sent a picture to him and he said, holy crap, you aren't kidding, look at how clean that is. So for the money, right, there's not a lot of rust. So that's gonna save us a lot of work. And I mean, it could be weeks of worth, uh, work and it could also be hundreds of dollars uh, in metal. Metal's not cheap, even a thousand. Depends on, on the situations. I've seen some people have to rip out the entire uh, floor the metal floor because it's just completely corroded through. Um, if you haven't seen that before and you get on Instagram, feel free to to look at people when they do their renovations. It's it's just something that you can't, you know, like upgrade. Like, say there's a little issue with something or mechanical, you can swap it out and replace it and poof, you know, for the same amount of money, you know, that you put into it, it's a lot less uh, work um, and there's nothing you can do about the rust. Also, this is the longest I think I've ever driven in an air uh, brake uh, vehicle. It's a little different. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. It's a little bit different. Uh, you, you know, you, you press down, I think it slams on it, so you got to kind of uh, be careful with it and pump it. Um, but here is the, uh, here's the inside. So this is a manufactured by... Uh, IC, which is International Corporation, or International, uh, for the engine and the truck. And, you know, wheelchair, you know, we got a couple little rooftop vents here. Um, as you can see, everything is in pretty good condition. Even the seats here, um, you know, there's not, there's a little, I don't know if this is mold or what, yeah, it looks like it, but, you know, it is a Pacific Northwest. Um, so you're going to have a little bit of mold, but you're not really going to have any rust. Now, if I were to trade this bus for a rusty bus with air conditioning, I don't think I would do it. Um, there are a couple different options for AC uh, things. One is to put like an RV uh, AC up top. The other option is to get something like a red dot AC unit and you add an AC pump to the front uh, which it's also a rooftop unit so you add a pump on the engine it's powered from you know the the belt fan belt and then you run the cool or the AC lines all the way up and then you know it does its magic up on, on the top so that's like 1200 bucks of course requires a bit more installation than a rooftop you know AC unit which you just plug it into the power, but those are two options here, and like I said, I would much rather have to deal with adding AC than redoing metalwork and rust. Just, yeah. So I hope I wasn't um, too hard on the place that sold it to me, but if you can understand the frustration, it really threw me for a loop. Um, Never have I ever uh, tried to negotiate on something and then all of a sudden it went up, you know, 100%. It doubled in price uh, about, you know. So, you know, anyway, so I ended up getting the thing for five grand, including tax. So, you know, you could also translate that as to 4,500 bucks. Is that the best deal? No. Is that the worst deal? No. Is it a decent price for a bus with zero rust well yeah I mean I honestly think anything you know from two to I mean the thing is they're not they're not there's no resale value so you just don't want to overpay but if there's value to you and you are gonna enjoy it then really you it's most important to find the right thing so because uh, you know you get what you pay for that's why I skipped out on the other bus. But here we are. I don't have any names for it. If you want to suggest a name, throw it down in the comments. Um, but yeah, I was definitely looking forward to doing a whole renovation. And now I get in this bus 
And I look at the seats and I'm like, what did I get myself into here? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big commitment. But uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to love Michael. Uh, Badge is, you know, going to help out too. Uh, it's going to be just a great, you know, a great attempt at uh, uh, round two of uh, converting a bus into an adventure mobile. So, anyways, we'll be, uh, I'll be filming a lot more in the coming days, more regularly, and uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching.